I'm sure you've heard or seen some 34 or 45 year old marriages. However, have you ever taken your time to ask why their marriage lasted and why they are so happy together? It's because they decided to. It's because they could do it. You also have the power to create your happily ever after. The truth is that you're not a helpless person who is incapable of building a long-lasting companionship. You just have to put your mind to it. You have the power to create your own happily ever after. It's innate in humans to go after what they want, to pursue and achieve what they desire. You can get what you desire if you're capable of growing, learning, and building up yourself. One of the biggest truths in life is that you get what you attract. This means that you need to work on yourself and work on your space. The more you build yourself and position yourself rightly, the more you'll attract the right person and begin your journey towards your own happily ever after. Though your personal development, you are streamlining and defining what and who ends up in your space. This is the first step in creating your happily ever after. After you've attracted the right person, you will then have to build companionship with them and sustain it. While trying to create your happily ever after, you must seek to erase things that are coming after your happiness. This means you should develop your ability to let go of your past and the mistakes you've made. Perhaps you've dated several people before, but it has hurt you and scarred you. You must be willing to let go and move past it. Letting go of your past will let you focus on the present and it'll help you create your happily ever after with your current partner. Don't be stuck in the past and don't let the grip of the past prevent you from finding happiness with the person you're with at the moment. You must let go of the pains, hurts and scars. Deal with the fears and focus on the positive with your lover. Seek out what you want from the companionship you both share. If you want a long-term relationship that will lead you to a happily ever after story, then you should define and examine your companionship. You have the power to determine what you allow in your space or not. Observe your companionship. Do you think it'll end up in a long-term commitment and lead to marriage? Have you had the talk with your partner to ask them where your companionship is headed? If you have been dating someone for a while, then it only makes sense that you know and determines the direction of the companionship. If it's not headed the way that it should, then you may need to rethink the companionship and get out if you want to create your happily ever after. It's all in your hands. If the companionship is a short-term one, and you're seeking one that would lead to your happily ever after, then you may need to end it and begin your journey to your happily ever after with another person. If the companionship seems to have potential, then you should take your time to learn more about your partner and if you're just starting a companionship, then take more time to know about your partner before you go ahead. As you do this, you're able to gain perspective on how best to handle situations that will arise when the companionship starts between you both. This will help you sustain a good companionship that will continue to lead to your happily ever after. You should ensure to be friends with your partner. To get a happier life after that is lasting and filled with hopes, you would need a base and foundation that enables you both to care about each other, even when you're angry towards each other. This way, you'll always have something between you both, even when you're not feeling too lovey-dovey. Creating your happily ever after requires that you would make several compromises. No companionship is perfect, so you must develop your ability to let go of your partner's mistakes and flaws. Many times, you will need to make compromises and meet your partner halfway for things to work out. Compromising means that you'll not always get what you want, but you will get happy with your partner at that moment. Things like these build your power to sustain your companionship and push you toward your happily ever after. You must recognize that Rome wasn't built in a day. 
This means that your journey happily ever after will take effort, time, and patience. However, it'll be worth the wait and worth your time. It's in your hands. The way you handle the companionship determines the direction that it'll go and determine if you'll get your happily ever after. It's left to you. You have the power to talk when you need to, to be patient when there's a need, and to let go when you need to. As you continue the companionship, always forgive your partner. Learn to let go of the past and not attribute present circumstances to past situations. And don't be the partner that always brings up the past to ruin the present situation of things. Creating your happily ever after is really in your hands. If you already have a partner, you can build your happiness with your partner at the moment instead of seeking a moment where you think it'll be easier to be happy. Many times we lose out on things we should be enjoying because we are seeking something more. For example, you may be telling yourself that you will find happiness with your partner when you get a raise at work or when you get a promotion. Meanwhile, in reality, there is no perfect time to build happiness. Rather, you must learn to be content at the different phases of your life. Situations will indeed come to shape and test your companionship. However, it's your resilience that will determine if you'll get your happily ever after. Learn to be grateful to your partner. For you to get your happily ever after from the person you're dating, you will need to have a lot of proper attitudes. And these attitudes will tell on your partner and determine how much you both can further your companionship into marriage and be happy with each other. Nobody wants to be with someone who doesn't treat them well. Shape your attitude and you will see a good person respond positively to you. When you treat your partner well and value the companionship between both, you will be getting closer to your happily ever after. You would be living in happiness. Creating your happily ever after once you've gotten a partner and have gotten married is very dependent on your happiness. You cannot have a happily ever after if you aren't happy on your own. If you keep basing all your source of happiness and purpose on your partner, then you will only be placing significant strain on the companionship and it will make it harder for the companionship to be in a happy place. You can't create your happily ever after if you are not happy. You must love yourself and value your self-purpose to be happy and be your true self in companionship. This means that you should still be in constant communication with the values, people, and activities that you are happy with. Doing this will help you to reduce strains from your companionship and allow the happiness to blossom. Take time to grow in the companionship and continue to build intimacy and connection with your partner. Creating a happily ever after takes time and usually times take quite a toll on many companionships. Time can cause the love and companionship to fade away and make things seem bland. It is therefore necessary that you take action and be intentional in doing things that will keep your love and friendship with your partner alive. These things have the power to create a happily ever after. Revive and constantly renew the bond you both share. Ask your partner about their day and do things that make them happy. Continue to build your love and don't forget that your companionship is always a result of your efforts. It's all in the way that you handle your companionship or marriage. Success or failure is within our power. And we are the ones who determines what can break you both apart. And it's you who determines what to do or not. Creating your happily ever after is something you can do. How companionship plays out is usually the effect of the people in it. It may seem hard and rough, but you have the power to create your happily ever after. You just need to make the right choices with the right person.